Camera right now, jurors see video surveillance of Fotis Dulos and his then girlfriend driving through Hartford's North End and ditching evidence the day his wife disappeared. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland picks up our coverage of day seven of the Michelle Traconis trial. There are more than a thousand cameras across the capital city providing surveillance over Hartford and today the state focused on those cameras building their case trying to show that Fotis Dulos and Michelle Traconis were captured on those cameras trying to cover up a crime. Once we started to see uh, the same truck stopping and putting garbage bags in random garbage cans. Back in May of 2019, Joshua Quint was working as an investigative analyst at Hartford PD's Capital City Command Center, explaining to jurors the elaborate camera system and the video prosecutors say shows Fotis Dulos in his black Ford Raptor pickup truck stopping on Albany Avenue in Hartford's North End multiple times on the evening of May 24th and putting a number of black garbage bags into multiple trash cans. That's the day his wife Jennifer Farber Dulos disappeared. At one point, Dulos discards what appears to be a large black mat-like object. And on the way out of Hartford, the truck stops again. Michelle Traconis, who later told police that's her in the video, can be seen leading out of the passenger door as Fotis then drops something down a sewer grate. I notified my supervisor um, about the location of um, this particular instance it looked like a, a sewer um, and that something was placed in it. Prosecutors allege Dulos killed his wife and Traconis, his girlfriend at the time, not only was aware of what happened, but also helped him cover it up. From that sewer grate, State Police Sergeant Michael Buton says they recovered an envelope with these two license plates inside. When they ran the plates, nothing turned up in the DMV database. But police quickly noticed someone altered the plates with a blue tape and some adhesive. This was made to be a B, but it's actually a D. And then here we have what is supposed to be a J with the extra material added to make it appear to be a U. And when they ran the correct plates? They came back uh, canceled on a 2007 Chevy Suburban uh, that was registered to Mr. Dulos. The state says they will recall Sergeant Butin later on in this case for additional testimony. As for more witnesses, they will pick up again tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Reporting at Stanford Superior Court, Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.